Hey guys, it's Spencer Bullman from Lab Rats. It's Kelly Berglund from Lab Rats. I'm Angel Parker. I play Tasha Davenport. I'm House Parks. I play Donald Davenport. My name is Tyrell Jackson Williams, and you're watching Clever TV. And you're watching Clever TV. And you're watching, watching Clever TV. TV. Or as I like to say, Clever. Because of the double. So there's two V's. It's not that funny. My character is still kind of doing some random stuff. He's still piping in with some funny jokes. Um, no, last season um, I was in space, so I've grounded. I'm on Earth. Um, we um, Davenport gets a new sports car, and um, some stuff happens with Marcus, the new kind of evil character, and Leo, TJ's character. They kind of get in some trouble with the sports car, and the Bionic Kids kind of try and save the day. So you'll have to see if how that works out. But it's really funny, and um, I like this season a lot because my character's kind of grown a little bit from just being kind of the aloof character in a sense. Like he he has those moments where he has his victories and he kind of saves the day, which I think is important because it gives him a little bit of depth. You know, so it's exciting. As you know, the season ended on a cliffhanger. Um, Marcus is totally after us, especially Leo, but nobody knows why. And everyone's like, what is going on? Why does he hate the Lab Rats so much? Um, the very first episode of season two is kind of an inside look as to why Marcus kind of wants to sabotage all of us. And I'm not giving anything away because everyone has to watch and find out. But um, this is like the first thing he does in the first episode, totally like biggest plan just to wipe Leo off the face of the earth, which is totally terrible, but um, yeah, you find out who he's working for, and there's a really big twist in the storyline, and like I said, I'm not giving anything away, but it totally changes the entire plot of the show, so it's like super exciting. Okay, in season two, we're picking up the day after what happened, the season finale of season one, so some pretty interesting things happened in the, the Mission Space episode. So you can see what happens immediately after that. Awesome, so are they gonna start to believe your character because you seem to know everything, you know Marcus is bad news, but no one trusts you. Well, no one trusts Leo because he, he has a long history of lying, deceit, breaking things, so I can see why they don't trust him, but, um, but later on, they're gonna have to start trusting him. I have a feeling Leo's gonna turn out to be the hero. Yeah. Yeah, so do I. I have that feeling as well. At the beginning of this season, we don't know how bad things are um, because the kids have kept it kind of separate. Um, but, you know, it, it starts gets... starts to unveil. Yeah. yeah. And we really discover the background of, of the kids mm -hmm. in the first episode this year as yeah. our special hour-long... Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. um, sort of, they start to get new abilities mm -hmm. and their origin. It, it's all coming, you know, their nemesis. It's, yeah. It's very their exciting. new suits. They're fighting an android kid. It's like. Yeah. It's, Are you supposed to say that? Well, so, it's something. Shh. Okay. Yeah. You didn't hear that, didn't but hear it's that? awesome. It's just super cool. Well, um, basically, I, at this point, I'm using uh, everything from brainstem neural technology to time travel to uh, teleportation is yeah, a big one. That's a good one. Yeah. Yes, that was a good one. So, um, instant uh, uh, freezing so that I can so I can uh, cryogenically freeze astronauts. Uh, that one doesn't go very well. Yeah. Yeah, I think a little bit that uh, Tasha bears the brunt of that. Yeah, she gets on the receiving end of that and it's not good. No. No. Those yogurt places, they get you by charging extra for toppings, so I'm bringing my own. <laughs> you don't even want to know what's in my pants. <laughs> oh! Woo! Hot butterscotch. Woo! You guys got some pretty sweet new suits. Yes. What was that like when you got to put those on and see them for the first time? Okay, first of all, they were way more comfortable than the old ones because the old ones were really tight. Um, we It's funny, we loved the old ones, and then when we saw the new ones, we were like, we did not realize how bad the old ones looked. Um, but the new ones are really, really cool. You, I feel like I should have like a lightsaber, like a uh, gun or something like that. It, like, it just, you feel kind of like a spy or like you should be doing something crazy, so. Um, they're much more comfortable and I think the audience is going to like them a lot more. Well, I don't know if I would consider it a toy, but we do have upgraded mission suits, which I guess are supposed to actually protect us even more so than the last mission suits. Um, lots of new inventions from Davenport, as always, inventing something new every episode. Usually it goes wrong and blows something up. But um, other than that, there's a few new places we get to go to. We get to go to Antarctica in one episode. Um, 
lots of yeah, lots of new gadgets come into play. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. Any of those gadgets you wish you could have kept? Um, let me see. There is one actually that we're using in this week's episode that we're filming, and it's basically this little device where you like you it, you like put it up to someone's head, and it erases their memory for like a certain amount of time. So like we get into a little bit of trouble, so we decide to erase Mr. Davenport's memory for like 24 hours, just so he knows he totally forgot to ground us. But um. That'd be really cool. Like when I get in trouble or get like a bad test grade, just erase. Oh! <laughs> I am really excited for fans to see just more action. We took everything you saw in the first um, the first season and just built on it. We used season one as the foundation and built on it. Made it funnier. Made it more action packed. There are more fight sequences which I'm so happy for, because they look awesome. And um, they're more special effects, which, who doesn't love special effects? I don't know, maybe some cat somewhere. It's like, I don't like special effects. I think they all like special effects. I think everyone likes special effects. The child safety lock is always engaged for passengers under the age of nine. I'm 14! You are very small for your age. <laughs> When I hear the action and the gadgets and all the cool special effects are uh, taken up a notch. Yes. Can you talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, some of our characters get some new abilities. My character has, like, I do this punch thing and, like, this ripple kind of goes off and destroys everything. And what they've done with, I mean, we have the great people that have worked on wizards and things like that that have used a ton of special effects and they are just phenomenal at what they do even in our smaller episodes we still have i just did an episode last week where i have this nacho volcano when it's not something about the bionic or a mission we still have great stuff you know like they have this massive mound of chips with like cheese lava coming out of it and stuff like that i mean it's just this cool entertaining stuff so not only can they look forward to the bionic um, superhero aspect to that, but also kind of in the, the funnier episodes as well. We get to see some of obviously the high school life of you guys. Are we going to get more of that? Are you going to get friends, drama, romance? Totally. Um, Brie, first season was, I, I feel like awkward is a very good way to describe her first season because it was her first time out in the real world and adjusting to everything like school and getting friends and everything but this season she becomes like 10 times more confident because she's been out in this world for a little while she's starting to adapt to everything she does gain a closer friend actually who was um, in a couple episodes in first season her name is Caitlin in the show and so she comes back and has a closer bond with Brie there's a few crushes that Brie has on some boys so she's definitely just feeling more comfortable in the real world and confident with herself. When I hear Madison Pettis will be guest starring again, how's that romance going for Leo? It is not going well. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, kind of angry at Leo a little bit because he's not, he hasn't done anything yet. He's had, he hasn't made a move yet. Um, but I can understand, I can understand why he's um, not the coolest person in the world. Um, but Madison Pettis just come, does come back. Um, so you do see their sort of relationship still happen. Hey! <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Why would you tell people to tune into the season premiere of Lab Rats? I would tell people to tune into the season premiere of Lab Rats because you will see pretty much the ambition and where we're headed in season two. And I like that. I like that it's that way. The season premiere because you get to see um, in that episode that we're broadening the way we're going about telling stories in the show, and I love that. Whoa, yeah, <laughs> me. That'd be my main reason. And I'm of course talking right now to my relatives who are just happy that I'm working. Um, but I, in, in all honesty, I think uh, this season we get to be a lot funnier even than we were last season. We get to be a, a lot more jokey and there's a lot more action sequences. I got to watch uh, the action sequence oh from God. the end of the first episode that's gonna air in a couple weeks just yeah. today. And I'm really excited about it. The fight yeah. scenes. There's and just the, more. They got to see what works and what 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 people the fans are in, are drawn to, and mm -hmm. they're just diving in, you know, head yeah. first. So. And sci-fi fans really like deep story. They like to be told what's going yeah, on and stuff. There's a smart arc to yeah. it. Yeah. 
So it's now it's turning into a real show in that regard. Yeah. It's cool.